So I went to Savers to see if they still had that gold chain. And unfortunately, they um, sold. <laughs> Alright, so I was going to finish up that one necklace, but, you know, no biggie. I, I'll figure out something. But, um, I did get in this, um, cross necklace. It looks like Black Hills Gold, but there's some silver marks in the back here that i seen. Like, right there's some marks. That looks like 925. And some other marks, and that looks like someone engraved a name. I, that's what I'm thinking right there. So, don't get me wrong. But, um... So, and then I was looking at the class rings. They had some more class rings there, but it's, like I said, I'm pretty sure the other ones I paid, like, a lot less than a hundred bucks. Um, honestly, to get some of the ones that I have. I got one from the 40s. I, I didn't even pay even, I don't even think I paid 20 bucks for it. I think I paid under $10 for that one. And then there was one I did pay about... 20 or so that was silver. The one that I paid the most for was the antique one from 1926 that was $50 at an estate sale. So, and the ones that savers they want like $125 to $175 we're talking about. Yeah, which I thought was ridiculous. But now I got like, um, 20% off at Savers, <laughs> so, I don't know, what well, was class rings, I always find it interesting, though, that, including, like, at an estate sale, that the family does not want the class ring, and when I seen them at the thrift store, Savers thrift store, I'm like, why did the person not want their their class ring, or the family didn't want the class ring? That is a mystery, because usually, you know, the people would want the class rings, and it's like, if I ever have children, I sure hope that they would want my class ring, let alone my husband's class ring, and, you know... And keeping it along with the family. You know. But it's just like at the coin show. I mean. That show. Um, and they said oftentimes it was a currency collection. When the person that collected it passes away. They. The children inherit it. Well. And then they decide just to sell the collection. Because they don't want to continue. They don't want to keep. The collection in memory of that person that had collected the currency, you know. But, you know, what can you do? But, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content. And don't forget to like, comment, and share the channel. So it would help get my channel out there to people that don't know about my channel yet. And right now we got more people not subscribe to the channel currently watching so why not just subscribe and continue watching the content